Hi everybody, this is Sonera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you the magic you can create with the Spellbinders Kaleidoscope die. I've made this envelope and here's the other side of it, all using this really useful and gorgeous die from Spellbinders. So here's the die, it's got four components, it's got um, the centerpiece, the piece around it and two additional accessories which can just accent your project. Um, you're going to need that. You're going to need an embossing folder if you want. Uh, some Kaiser Craft ribbon. Um, then you're going to need some card and some glitter paper and basically anything you need to um, enhance the design and color scheme. And finally, you're going to need some dimensional tape. Now to start, you're going to take your envelope template and the template is provided in the blog and you're going to score at the, on the, at the points which are mentioned in the template. I'm making a box envelope because my card is a bit dimensional so I need a little bit of space to slip it in. Once you've scored you're just going to fold it down and make the envelope um, ready for gluing but you're not going to do any gluing just yet because there's so much of design to add to it. This is the front flap of the envelope. Once again um, follow the template and score at the places that are provided. Yeah. That's pretty much it. You can slip one on top of the other to see if it fits. It fits. So now I'm going to start doing the front template. Now this is the Spellbinders die which I'm going to use for the front forward flap and I want this the outline of the die to cut but I don't want it to be completely cut out. So I'm using some of the Itsy Bitsy accessory pad strips to cover the cut side of the die. Then I'm just going to measure it to make sure it's right in the center and I'm, I'm taping it in place so that it cuts at the right spot and the top cut side of the die doesn't actually cut the card. The accessory cutting pad from Itsy Bitsy is pretty cool that way. You put two or three of them inside and it will prevent the die from cutting. Now here as you can see I've cut the piece but the top is just not cut. It's left in place. Now I'm going to take another piece of the die die set and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to put a little bit of this accessory cutting pad. I think you need two or three sheets to make sure the die doesn't cut through the card. I'm placing it just over the cut line on the top and I'm cello taping it in place and then cello taping it on the correct spot on my card as well. Once again send it through the big shot and here you can see the outline is cut but the top is not cut so it's still adhered or still connected to the envelope flap. I'm doing the same for the third side and then I'm going to just run it through the big shot again and once that's done my die cutting of the envelope is pretty much done. It's now time to cut off or make detach this the rest of the card. Now after you take out all the holes on the little uh, cardstock, this is what the envelope flap is going to look like. And it's just about perfect to slip into the envelope that you've made. But you might find that there's some amount of embossing which is a little bit untidy that's come on the top of the flap. So in order to uh, manage that, I'm going to use my so easy uh, ribbon threading tool. And I'm just going to place it right where all that untidy embossing has appeared so that I can just lace ribbon through the top and make it look really festive and pretty. <clears throat> I finished piercing it where I want and now I'm going to take some gross grain ribbon from Itsy Bitsy and I'm just putting a little bit of sticky tape on the top to make it a little firm so that I can easily thread it through um, my envelope flap. Now I want a bow in the center so I'm going to thread from one end and leave a strip at the at the center so that I can tie the bow with that. I'm just taking it in and out. It's pretty straightforward, really easy to do. Um, not much to thread because um, pretty soon I've reached the center. And now I just need to cut off the end and start threading it down the other side. So I'm doing the same. I'm um, using the same uh, sort of thickening agent to make the ribbon more easy to use and once again I'm threading it through the little slots that I've cut on my so easy tool. So as I'm threading it through I'm just making sure the ribbon stays straight and now when I've reached the center it's time to just tie 
a nice pretty bow to give a nice festive look to my overall appearance of this envelope. And when I'm happy with the bow, I'm just going to peel off those little uh, stickers I put to make it nice and hard to push it through the hole. And then of course, as we do with any ribbon, we trim off the edge to, edge to make it look really pretty and neat. Great, now my envelope flap is done. For the back side, I'm just going to fold um, the strip over and just glue it on top. Let there be no mess, let there be no visibility of what I've done <laughs> underneath. It's nice and concealed. Right, so now for the center of that envelope flap, I'm going to take some of this red glitter sheet from Itsy Bitsy. Now this is different from the glitter foam, it's a glitter sheet. So it's, it's really pretty, it's thin. Uh, it's thinner than the foam, so it's, you know, I, I like that. And, you know, it, it, it works just as well. It's a little difficult to peel it out of the die. I'm using a piercing tool to do that. And once that's done, I just need to glue it in place on my envelope flap right at the center. Now back to the base of the envelope. I'm going to really decorate the back or the outside of it. I call this the back of the envelope, but I'm not really sure. Um, I'm just using my die. I'm, I'm making sure it's in the center. And... Uh, I'm making sure that I put one of the corner accessories on one side and I'm going to run it through the big shot making sure that the flaps on the other, each side are not being are not getting affected by the cut side of the die so when I take that out I'm going to save those little die cuts because that's part of my design later and the same corner die I've used for all four corners of the envelope card now I'm going to glue a piece of cardstock on the inside so that when you um, look at the envelope from the other side, it's looks, it looks like it's a stencil. Now I can finally put my envelope base together. But before I do that, I'm going to definitely adhere the flap first because that makes it really a lot easier to do. Um, adhere the flap when the, when the box envelope is not yet made into a box. I'm just placing it right at the edge. It doesn't matter that there's a bit of an overlay because that's not going to be seen once the box envelope is completely glued together. So the flaps that I've made, I'm just putting glue on that so that the bottom flap, which is nice and large, covers all these little narrower flaps. And whatever glue is left on the top, I can just rub it off with my finger. So now this is the envelope, um, one side of it, this side is done. The other side, I'm going to take all those really cute die cuts, I've saved them all and I'm putting some dimensional stickers on them and I'm just going to place them right where I cut them out but with, with the dimensional sticker, it just looks a little more fun. It doesn't look, uh, it, it looks really pretty, I find, because you can see a little bit of the white and um, you can still see the uh, design of the die cut. So I'm doing that for all four of these little um, accessory pieces that are included in the die. And by doing so, I've pr practically used all the pieces of the die in this project. I've left the center of the, of the envelope blank because that's where you can write the recipient's name or uh, the person who's, uh, or anything special you want to write, you can write in the center. And that's pretty much it, yeah. The envelope uh, is ready. My box envelope is ready. All I added to it was a few glitter stones to the center. A nice green one in the center of this. And if you turn over, I've put some red ones all around, um, all around the die cuts which I placed. I'm quite happy with the final result. I think it looks nice. I've made a card to go with the envelope. This is probably the first time you've heard of anyone making a card to go with an envelope rather than an envelope with a card. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun doing it that, you know, I really needed to make something complimentary. It slips neatly inside and once that's done, my beautiful flap closes nicely. And all this wonderful stuff was possible with this gorgeous Spellbinders Kaleidoscope die which is now available at Itsy Bitsy. They've got a fabulous range of 48 dies. So take your pick and, you know, create something beautiful. I hope you found this useful. Stay tuned for many more tutorials from all of us here at Itsy Bitsy. Bye!